All right, looks like we're just about ready to get uh, started. Yeah, so gonna be a short stream today. I've got less time on the weekends these days, but uh, we're gonna be playing The Snow of Basidia. And apparently this was part of the 2020 Haunted PS1 Madvent calendar. Uh, although according to the game page, it's exactly the same as it was there. It's just a standalone version. So if you're interested, uh, you can get this on itch.io. It's free. Although it was down this morning. So after I like posted the the stream scheduled, I couldn't get into itch.io. It was down. I was, I was panicking. I was messaging people. I was like, hey, do you have a copy of this game? Because, you know. But yeah, looks like uh, we are all set to go. Yeah, apparently the game is supposed to be like 15, 20 minutes, but knowing me, it's probably going to be 45. So we'll see. We'll see. Good morning. I guess this copy of the game works after all. Yeah, yeah. Well, thankfully, I checked back at itch.io, so I didn't have to use the, the shady um, soft sonic or whatever it's called dot com version of it. So we'll see. We'll see. All right. Such a rocking intro track. Yeah, it just really good music. If anybody's got any suggestions of like relatively chill music that you want to hear during the breaks and that probably aren't copyright, you know, claimable, just tell me and uh, I'll add them to the list. All right. Well, here we go. Yeah, um, I don't know why, but I'm getting Ben Drowned vibes from it. And saying that aloud, pe oh, half the people are like, what's Ben Drowned? And then the other half are like, oh my god, nostalgia. Um, but remember, remember, like, the creepypastas? You know, the creepypasta days? It's, uh, it feels like it was just a couple years ago, but really, it was a long time ago. And that's kind of sad, I think. You know, you had like Sonic.exe and Ben Drowned, and uh, I think there was like a pony one. Those were the days. You don't really see much of that too much anymore. Have you seen Adult Swim's Moral Oral? It's really depressing and well made. I used to watch that way back in the day. Uh, so I saw it when it was back when it was being aired on Adult Swim. And yeah, it's really clever and just, it's so depressing though. Like the camping trip, just, oh my gosh. Uh, it's making a resurgence, I've noticed. Um, oh, mouse controlled. I wonder if this was... I could have used a controller. Hmm. So there we go, our little uh, Link-like guy. But yeah, they don't seem to have a lot of shows like that anymore. It's real sad it got cancelled, because there's a whole, like... Uh, ooh. The wind coming out of these cracks can lift you up. Isn't that cool? Alright, we'll move over. Okay, now I guess that's, that's her wind. I... When it was about Jeff the Killer, I had never understood why people liked that one. It, it was like written by like a 12 year old, I don't know. And it was like needlessly dark and edgy. I don't know, I don't know, maybe I was just too snobbish, but I never liked it. Uh... Oh, cool, you can go into like a view mode. I like that when they put it into games. Let's see. Well, this, this certainly does have that kind of a uh, crunchy feel of those old school games. I can't jump, I don't think, so we're just gonna have to hope. Wonderful texture blurring. Yep. Amazing! I can't believe it's really snowing! Is it? Oh yeah, it is. None of it's coming down here, though. What's in here? I always thought this canyon was too hot for snow, but I guess even our snow is tougher out here. Watching the snowfall makes you just want to drift off to sleep. Alright, I need to go back and talk to that uh, kid, because I didn't realize that there'd be uh, different stuff said, depending on how you talk to them. I'm used to the cheaper games where you get one line and it's just repeated over and over again, rather than, you know, like, three lines deep. There's snow coming out of here, too! I thought snow was supposed to be cold, but this is nice and warm. Well, what if it's like Silent Hill and it's ash or something? Is, is the volcano gonna go? It's weird. I love the snow. I hope it never stops. I'm, I'm unsettled. I'm unsettled and I don't know why. <laughs> Ominous snow. Yep. Okay. I wish I could jump, but I'm just not... I don't think there's a button at all. Care 
careful, there was a landslide up ahead. Looks like we're gonna be stuck here for a while. At least the snow is nice. Never thought I'd see the day it snowed here. The snow really is peaceful. Oh, it is starting to snow here. Look at that, on the right. Oh, well, it was a second ago. It stopped as soon as I mentioned it. The snow really is peaceful. All right. This is cool so far. If I had made a game, I would kind of want it to be sort of in this style. Like, really kind of simplistic and stuff. Look. Hmm. Yeah, well, she wasn't lying. We are not going anywhere, it seems. Which actually could turn into a nightmare scenario. You know, you're trapped in a, in a canyon in a heavy snowstorm, although the snow was warm, so that's, uh... That's different. Okay, makes you want to drift off to sleep. That's about it. You know what I'm getting... It, I don't know why it's reminding me of it, because stylistically they aren't that similar, but there's like a Martian game called... God, like Martian Gothica or something, where you're on Mars, and uh, it's it's it was like an early 2000s, late 90s game, and uh, every you know so very polygonal, and just you're everyone's dying and being reanimated as as like shuffling zombies. It's just kind of spooky, you know. Okay, so this is supposed to carry me up, right? I guess not. All right, all right. Can't go into the house. I'm guessing that's our house. The voices are getting louder. What does that mean? Oh, Martian Gothic unification. That's exactly it. Oh, and I got a, I got a super chat. I didn't notice. I'm sorry. I think the, the, the chime of it is blending into the music of the game. I'm sad that Barbie.avi isn't about a killer Barbie doll with bleeding eyes. Such a jip. Thank you so much, Tommy Tianoth. Okay, well, we're in trouble here, because, uh... Okay, there might... Oh, now I can jump. I swear to God, I was... I jumped. I jumped just so weird. I've been hitting it this whole time. Like, here, listen. That's space bar. I guess it only works if I'm up against something? I guess it's like a climbing kind of thing? Either that or this game is, is bugged. That's weird. That's so weird. Okay. Let me see. Maybe I can... Okay, so I can only jump when I'm at an edge. That's actually kind of brilliant, but I they really should have had a sign because it's pure, pure uh, luck that I happen to wander over like this. Okay. That's great. Jump triggers? Yeah, that's that's actually interesting and kind of a pain to code, isn't it? Like edge detection and stuff? I've screwed around with like Unity programs and, and it's never... it's... Edge detection, man, I don't know. Then again, I can't code, so it might actually be easy to summon with a brain. I heard a ruckus down in the caverns a while ago. Snow started pouring out of the mountain after that. <laughs> it's fucking asbestos. The factory blew. <laughs> Those idiots were trying to open the cavern doors. What have they got themselves into this time? Why Why is that bad? Yeah, look at these ruins. What's in the caverns, man? You might want to go check on those fools. See if everyone's alright. Well, what are you gonna do? Alright, fine. Fine. We'll go in. I'm sure nothing bad's gonna happen to us. Oh, wait a minute. Look at that. It almost looks like snow, but... Those are mushroom spores. Guys, I think our valley is fucked. <laughs> We're, mm, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. You know what I mean? It could just be a similar, like, uh, filter animation, but I, it looks a lot like the snow. Just saying. Lavender Town music. They finally got the cavern doors to open, but it caused a big earthquake. The earthquake knocked over a pillar. I think they're trapped on the other side. <laughs> this guy's just spinning. Can I? Can you go check on him? I'm getting pretty sleepy. Oh my god, it's spores. It's poison. We're fucked. We're dead. I, I think this is how that Serenity Firefly movie went too. What happens if I fall? Do I have to restart the whole thing? Or maybe it auto jumps and I'm just crazy. But I'm like I'm gonna test it. You know what I mean? Because the price for failure. Okay, there is a, um... Yeah, look at these, look at these mushrooms. I, I should've played this on 420. You know what I mean? Okay, so you can go back if you do fall. I guess fall damage isn't much of a thing. 
This is nice. I like the look of the ruins. They, they're they um, colorful, but like not unreasonably colorful. Like I, there's a lot of dusk colors, like kind of indigos, browns, ruddy colors. So you gotta be super happy or super horrible. Creepypastas have ruined me, even to the point where like I play a cutesy game and I'm unsettled the entire time because I'm I'm so used to <laughs> I'm so used to everything. Oh my god, he is dead. D uh Uh, would you continue going in at this point? Like, if that guy is dead and growing mushrooms, they probably all are. It's time to get out of here. Start start climbing the valley walls. Super horrible confirmed. Yeah, right, you called it. <laughs> I really like the music. I might have to go back in here and, uh, record a little bit. And use it as break music at one point. Oh, look at his eyes! Not liking that. Can we... You know what? I kind of want to go back and try to see if we can talk to the guy and, like, get everyone to leave, but let's face it, they probably didn't program that in. Oh, man. I swear to God, I just saw a Russian movie, a Russian horror movie that was just like this. Uh, where, like, mushrooms were growing on people. They were, like, at the... close to the, the center of the earth. Like, in, like, a, in a... In a miles deep uh, shaft in, in Antarctica or something. It was pretty decent, actually. Oh, great! Cool! <laughs> cool! Perfect! Uh, would you keep going? I wouldn't. Look at these. Not sure if that looks futuristic or just really spooky old-fashioned. Yeah, this looks futuristic, almost like... Because look at that, like, portholes. Super Deep is the name of the film! How did you know that? I did <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Joe Lundgren. Appreciate it. <laughs> or you could, you could be, uh, you could be pulling my leg. That might not actually be the name, but... It, sound, it sounds just about right. Did that corpse impaled by mushrooms just blink, or was it just me? Their eyes are moving. Uh, their eyes are black, but there's, like, tendrils coming out of them, and they're, uh, like, gyrating. It's... Ugh. Body horror, you know what I mean? So that's probably where the snow is coming from. Urge to pop it rising. The music stopped. I think I saw this uh, in Osmosis Jones once. I don't think there's anywhere to go in here. Yep. Okay. Alright. Did this- was this where we came from? Or is this a completely different... Okay, this doesn't look like the valley. It's gotta be different. Is what I'm thinking. How we looking? Alright. Urge to pop it near an ant nest. <laughs> I knew someone that put a couple firecrackers in a fire... In a fire and... and ne oh, this is the place we were in earlier, I think. That's the guy that was spinning around. I'm not liking the noises he's making. Uh, the problem was it blew all the fire ants all over him. It was pretty rough. Is there any reason I'm doing this? I don't know, I just had an urge to. Okay, it did nothing. This kind of reminds me of that one Portal Runners, uh, level, uh, kind of in the medieval world, where there's a bunch of mushrooms you could jump on. And it had, like, a psychedelic kind of color tone. Okay, dude, what's the word? There's something crawling in my head. Please, help. How come we're not worse off than he is? We got closer to the elephant's foot than anyone. Get it out, 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 okay! Oh no, he inf- okay, alright, perfect. Great, we're infected now. Fucker. Oh, he's growing mushrooms. 
I wonder if anything keeps happening. Nope, okay, nope. Well, we're probably screwed. I should never have talked to him. I'm gonna kind of want to replay this and see if I can avoid that. Maybe he would have auto-talked... Maybe he would have auto-talked to us on our way out. I don't know. His head's gonna break off. <laughs> Terrible mushroom noises intensifies. Michael Roberts, I can't believe I'm actually nostalgic for the N64. <laughs> simpler times. Simpler times. Okay, we're just gonna get more infected, but I gotta know what he's gotta say. Help! There's something growing inside. Get it out of me! He's actually sprouting mushrooms. That is an awesome touch on the game's end. And we are worse off now. We should not be interacting with these people. But that's a really nice touch to have them just sprouting mushrooms live as you watch. Oh my gosh, okay, yeah, this is the valley. There's a mushroom where that kid was jumping. Oh, our house is fine, so that's good, right? See, I... I don't know why everyone was like, oh, warm snow, because that's definitely a thing. I would have preferred ash, you know? Oh no! <laughs> Little what's-her-face. Oh, it seems like she went quick. Oh fuck, my eyes. Okay, yeah, we're done. We're done. Time to just get the fire out. On the brass side, we can now jump on our own roof. Couldn't do that before, huh? A fungus, this game suddenly- you know what this reminds me of? Ugh, I keep saying that, but uh, we played that one like kind of like horror pixel art game, I think, where we went into the ocean. Um, no, no, there was another one by the same makers where uh, it was like Explore My Body, I think was the name of the game. It was an indie game, and it was where this guy deliberately was infecting himself. And he was growing mushrooms too. Why is it always mushrooms? I wonder if we can live. We're gonna try this again. We're gonna try this again. I didn't know I was on a, a, a timer, but in hindsight. Become one with the symbiote. Yeah, we don't even get cool uh, powers like Venom, do we? Hyper-realistic blood eyes. The snow of Basidia. Okay, well if it doesn't crash to desktop, we're gonna- we're gonna- we're gonna try this again. So fun fact, but Basidia is the part of a mushroom that's responsible for for- for spore production. Wait a minute. Spore production. Yeah, it crashed. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Figure. See, that's a staple too, right? In, in the creepypasta game world. Um, so essentially that's just like plant coom, right? And it, it, or, or fungus coom. I don't know if fungus is considered a plant. And uh, yeah, so de death by coom. Great, cool. Perfect. Let's get back at it. This time we're not going to talk to anybody. We're going to run right... Although we're trapped, there's... I just... See, there's a cave-in. You can see it right there. So we're not getting out of the valley, but at the very least I want to talk to everybody. Because I, I, I think I just took way too long. They aren't plants. Okay, I figured. Wait, press start. Oh, enter? Okay. I was like, wait a minute, I, I could have sworn I've clicked a million times. The City of Research and Video Games is Channel Rocks. You know, that's the fun thing about indie games, you know? Like, they can pretty much go wherever they want or do whatever they want, uh, whether it's a good idea or not. I'd like to see... A, you know what? If this came from that, like, PS1 graphic-style madness uh, compilation, I think Janitor Bleeds also came from something similar, if not the same thing. Um, I'd like to see a, a longer version of this game, where you, where you eventually make it back to the main village, you know, and it's not much better. I don't know how you would, you know, because again, like, it's just because something is good for a uh, short indie game doesn't necessarily mean that you can pad it out into like a, a three or four hour game, you know, that can be really dangerous to do and it doesn't always work. But, uh, like maybe if there was like a, an infection meter similar to Resident Evil or something, you wouldn't even have to have combat, although you could, you know, if you really wanted to, because, uh, you know, people are going crazy as this stuff infects them. But I'd like to see more of this. Like, I like the music, I like the, the level designs, I like the characters. It's pretty good so far. Oh, I just noticed he's got a little armband like Cloud. 
So yeah, it says this is kind of like Zelda reminiscent, but I, I feel like the, the body proportions and the polygons are really close to Final Fantasy VII style. Oh, I think of Illbleed, Illbleed now. I've always wanted to play that game, but if you've ever actually seen someone play it, like, you can't just play it. You have to know everything about it, otherwise you're not going to get, like, three minutes into a level. You know what I mean? Like, where all the scares are and what to do and where to find the weapons. And to get the secret ending and stuff, like, you have to do an insane amount of work. And I can't even handle regular length games as it is. Okay, before we touch... Before we touch... Before we boop the snoot of the Basidia... Let me see, I don't think there's, yeah, I don't think there's anything we can do here. Why did we even come in here? You know, we should have seen like two to three bodies and been like, yeah, they're dead. Sorry about that. Uh, shut the doors. Shut the door. Shut. <laughs> okay. If I can, uh, if I need to, mm. well, you know what? Actually, I got the time. I got the time. So we're going to inspect the bodies because I don't think they infect us at this point. And then we're going to run back out and we're going to be like, hey, this was a terrible idea. Uh, let <laughs> Going in the cavern was, uh, maybe not the best thing. Okay, so that's one body, and I think there's two others. We're gonna go see if we can tell the guys. Never heard of mushroom risotto? I've had mushroom risotto. Now, the real scary thing there is the risotto, because cooking risotto is a fucking nightmare. You know, you can't just boil it like rice. You literally have to, like, put it into a pan with a small layer of water and then keep ladling water into it. It's almost like a steam bath. I don't know. But every time I'm like, oh, HelloFresh risotto, perfect. It, it, it ends up taking, like, uh, 30 more minutes than it should have, you know, like, that it would have with rice. Risotto's fun, though. Would you eat these mushrooms? No. I like mushrooms, I do, but I like the safe brown and white mushrooms you get on, you know, pizzas and you can make sauce from. It's uh, it's gonna be a no from me, dog. Look at this place, this sucks. Why would anyone want to come in here? Like, there's, there's eyes on the pillars. Okay, shit's fucked, my dude. Time to go. Oh, I didn't even exhaust his dialogue. Okay, so despite interacting with all three corpses, we... Were those mushrooms here a minute ago? No, they weren't. It's time to go. It's time... It's... I guess it's... I guess there's no avoiding it, huh? Our, our fate is sealed. Cooking simulator plus s Ah, uh, That might be fun. There is like a VR version of cooking simulator that I kind of want to try. And N64 and mushroom eats you! Yeah, this is a fucking Mario's nightmare, isn't it? I like the mystery of mushrooms that grow in places I didn't know they could. Yeah, mushrooms are kind of spooky, aren't, aren't they? The largest single living creature on Earth is an underground fungus that stretches miles around. I heard about that, and I was like, wow, the biggest, the biggest thing? And, um... I had a look at it, and I'm like, wait a minute, that mushroom is the size of, like, somebody's hand. It's not that big. And then you realize it's because it's all interconnected underground. So just because it's, it's you know, the mushrooms aren't big, there's, like, a gajillion of them. So that's kind of spooky. We should have talked to him and then went to the bodies and then ran back, probably broke a trigger sequence. Could be. Although, to be fair, I haven't seen anyone mention um, multiple endings in the game. I usually try to do a quick comb for that to see if, if I need to be planning for, like, a secret ending or a 100% good ending route. All Runs played this game. You can tell us if there's a, is a if there's any way to avoid the fate. Because, unfortunately, I don't think there is. We're stuck in here. You know, the, there's been a cave-in. We can't get out of the valley. Okay, so this time I'm not going to interact with any of the bodies. We're going to try to prioritize escape. And then, if we can't, I'll talk to the people I haven't spoken to yet. Okay. Okay, so I don't know if we're on a timer, or if just talking to too many people causes insta-death. Oh god, I should not touch those. I don't see any red, so that's good. Also, we should probably avoid those wind cavern things with the spores coming out. Okay, yeah. Okay, what's her face? Ain't doing so good. I'd love to talk to her, but there's no point. Alright, this is where we came in. Sorry guys, but uh... 
you know how it is. Wait, we might be able to actually get out of here. Hang on. Oh, wait a minute. It's not letting me... Okay, so we... we <laughs> I'm, I'm afraid we've been foiled by a, by a knee-high rock. We probably couldn't climb up that way anyway. Yep, well, we're gonna die here. I might as well talk to the the two girls that I... Oh wait, hang on, hang on. I might have cheesed it. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> it's just a sheer wall. I would love to game break out of here, because I feel like we've earned our survival if we didn't touch anything. Two days ago you found moral mushrooms? First time they've appeared on your stretch of land? Oh, okay. <laughs> Rest, rest in peace, Carl. They're coming for you now. Alright, let's see. There's no way to get in here. And even if we could, it's just a like a warehouse. I hate to say it, guys, but I think we're finished. Although... Wait a minute. Hang on. That gust of air looks like it's going really high. We're gonna try. We're gonna try. Like, you feel me, right? This could be something. No, it isn't. Because I, I guess I felt like maybe we could get up and over. We're dead. Okay. Well, time to start talking to people. Mihai rocks is one weakness. Yeah, it's almost like a Dark Souls. Cough, cough. What's happening? If we talk to her again, we're gonna get infected. Everything hurts. Cough, cough. Cough. Uh, and she's... sprouting some mushrooms there. Alright. Seems like the third time you talk to them is when it happens. Ah! Alright, she's having a worse time. Make it stop, make it stop, make it stop. Help me, please. I don't think there's anything anyone can do. Well, that's it. I think if we talk to one more person, we'll die, but... Man, I just want to go home. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> Social distancing. Yep. Well, she's dead, so we'll just talk to the guy real quick. What a shame, what a shame, you know? Wait, can I not? I must have to get a running start on it. Hang on. Or I guess I can't. Oh, no, I can. I don't know, the spacebar is real fiddly in this one. I guess as long as you're not touching the ground, it should be fine. Let me see real quick. Maybe it's because I touched the mushroom. Nope. Okay. Well, whatever. We're done. haven't gone yet. Local man unleashes fungal parasite killing entire village. They unleashed it before I ever got here. I had nothing to do with this. Yep, okay. Well. Yeah, nice. Nice. Guess we'll go talk to that guy if we don't sprout a couple mushrooms before then. Yeah, it'd be nice that there were multiple endings, but if you could survive, I don't think it would be as creepy. Something's growing inside. There we are. What a strange ending. Well, you know, it's just the horror of, uh, you know, spores, I guess. Well, there we go, Snow of Basidia. Uh, de death by, uh, Mushroom Coom. Perfect, uh, that's exact. <laughs> that's how I would go if I had the choice. Okay, well, it was a shorter game, but I've got something I need to do here in about an hour or two, so it had to be. Uh, thank you for to, all, uh, to Allrun for recommending this one. You know exactly the, the length of game <laughs> that I need to play in order to be productive. I think there was another dead body in that first hallway, but it's behind a pillar, so you don't see it on the way unless you turn around. Yeah, I got that one. Uh, I noticed it as I was walking. It was, it was the long hallway. I think it was on the right as you're going in, but if you turn around, it's on the left. Yeah, we did get that one. 
literally an ant's fate. Yeah, and I think that's kind of like the storyline to The Last of Us, too. Congrats on beating it under an hour. Yeah, guys, against all odds, it happened, didn't it? Let's see, I'll put some music on. Okay, Gregorian chant, nice. That was random, but I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> what else? <laughs> Return to Krondor has got some amazing music. Apparently the dev is working on a sequel, The Winds of Basidia. Wait, what? Isn't that what I just played, though? The Winds of Basidia. That's... By the way, there's a link in the description if you want to play this. Snow of Basidia. Okay, yeah, so we just played the Snow of Basidia. Basidia. Um, and according to Carl, apparently the dev is working on a sequel. The Winds of Basidia. Oh my god, it's spreading. It's spreading, boys and girls. I, I hope you're ready for the warm snow. That's great. That's exactly what I was saying. It's like, I, I would have appreciated, you know, an expansion when, um, if you manage to get past that, uh, rock slide, you, you get to your village only to find out that it, it's spreading everywhere and it kind of turns into a bit of a survival, like apocalyptic scenario. I <sighs> just spoiled the last- I don't know what the- Decay, yeah, yeah. I was about to say, I, I'm pretty sure, like, mushrooms sprouting out of the head isn't particularly, like, I mean, of course it's that one, the one that plagues the ants and stuff. Hope that's not Chris's blood. Yeah. It reminds me, there's a new uh, Yames game called Growing My Grandpa. I wasn't sure about this game at first, but it grew on me. Yeah, yeah, right out of her eyes, huh? The sequel coming, apparently. Well, that's good news. It's always nice to see it when, uh, when uh, solid games like this get expansions. So I'll have to look forward to that. Even if it's a paid game, I'd, I'd love to play it if, uh, eventually. Well, I hope everyone's been having a good weekend and, uh, you know, the holidays are over, but, you know. Hope you had a good one of that, too. Yeah, I know it can be a little bit hectic. Human pepperoni. What? Alright, uh, I'm late. How's the game? Well, we just beat it. Oh, well, it beat us. We got to the end. Uh, there may be a sequel in the works, so, you know, pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. Alright, well, heck, I think that is the end of the stream. Uh, it was nice seeing you guys, and, uh, I'll probably be streaming again in a day or two. Um, yeah, thanks for everyone that joined us, uh, a couple days ago for the 420 movie night and the 420 game. I am mean is pretty cool, um, and I also found out that there's different levels, like every five levels, the, the style of the level changes, like there's hedge mazes and dungeons and stuff, so, pretty cool stuff. It's already over. Yeah, yeah, it was a short game. It was a real short game, but that's kind of what I needed right now. Uh, bye-bye. Yeah, bye. I'll see you guys soon. See ya. Oh wait, hang on. Ulran, you had a super chat. I can't believe I didn't- I can't believe I didn't see it. Sorry. If anyone's still here, uh, Ulran with the five dollars. <laughs> this part's on an invisible timer. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I wondered, I wondered. Okay, thank you. Sorry. I'll try to- <laughs> sorry. <laughs>